Every day in June up until the release of Pixar's Lightyear, I'll be talking about all things related to Buzz Lightyear and the Toy Story franchise. Toy Story 2 might just be my favorite of all the Toy Story books. It's the very definition of a perfect sequel. It progresses the characters forward, and it doesn't attempt to repeat the original, but instead tries something new. Woody is abducted by a business owner slash toy collector because he's a rare collectible, and he wants to sell him and other toys like him to a museum in Japan. The others then set out to rescue their friend before Andy returns from camp. Woody was supposed to go camping with Andy, but he was damaged before leaving, so he decided to leave him at home. This sends Woody into a depression, and after meeting the other toys from his toy line, worries about Andy growing up and not needing him anymore. But by the end, Woody again realizes it's his ego getting in the way of what really matters, Andy. He accepts that Andy is growing up, and while he can't do anything to stop it, he might as well enjoy his time with him while he can. Then, when the time comes, he'll be ready. Now even though I did say the sequel tries something new, it's still Woody's ego that leads to him learning a lesson. However, they don't use ego to teach the same lesson. In the first movie, it was jealousy towards Buzz. In the second, it's worrying about the future. So, while his ego still plays a big part in the development of the character, they use it to teach something new rather than just rehashing the same lesson from the first one. It's reasons like this that make Toy Story 2 my favorite of all the Toy Story movies.